Hi friends, this is Jamie from Ember Salon. I want to show you how to use your at-home root retouch kit, which we have built for you at Ember, completely customized for your head specifically. All of our formulations are exactly what we would have been using at the salon. And since we've had to cancel everyone's appointments due to the coronavirus right now, we thought, why not send you home with a care package so that you can take the time to take care of yourself at home, just like we would be doing here for you at the salon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into your care package and how to use it. And I hope during this time you can just find your zen and pretend like you're here with us. So let's get started. Okay, in your kit, you're gonna get step one, mix A, mix B, gloves for your protection, clips, and a brush. Um, I wanted to make this super colorful so it still feels like fun and we can enjoy the process. Step number one is a protective barrier which you're going to put on your skin, not your hair, so that the color doesn't stain. You're going to mix A into B and the minute that you stir these together then they will be activated and you'll need to be using them on your head right after that. I'll show you as I do it to myself. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna clip my hair back. And I'm gonna put my protective barrier on my skin. This just helps so that the color doesn't stain your skin, go around your ears, try your best not to get it on your hair. And it just feels like jelly. All right, now we're gonna part our hair. So what you wanna do is go off of your natural part. So for me, it's a side part. I like to use the tip of my comb. So I'm just gonna make a nice clean part right there. And you kind of want to go a little bit past the top of your head so that you don't leave any roots showing in the back. So I'm gonna go from the top of my head and I'm gonna take my comb and go all the way to the back of my ear. See that? Nice clean part. So that'll be our first section. Take your clip and just get that out of the way. Our second section, top of the head a little bit past and just draw a straight line to the top of your ear. There we go, separation. Use your clip and just get that other hair out of the way. Before you mix your color, put your gloves on. And then I'm gonna take mix A, all of it, put all of it in there. I've measured these out specifically for each person. So you have to use all of mix A with all of mix B, okay? And stir. Once you stir, you're activating the color together. So make sure that it's all creamy and blended and consistent. Mix A, mix B together. Okay, so we're gonna start with our part line. Your color doesn't need to drip. I mean, you just need a little bit on there, okay? And just tap your root. I mean, some of you might only have a half inch of outgrowth and others might have an inch. So really you're just painting your natural hair. Don't paint any more than that. Okay, I'm gonna work in my first section. And I took a diagonal part, you see that? And I'm holding about an inch of hair. So on that, I'm gonna paint my natural hair. Diagonal section. 
I have about a half inch of hair. Do you see that? And I'm gonna paint my root. Another one. You're always painting away from your face. As you get closer to your hairline, you can take less hair. So now I have about a quarter of a neck, quarter inch section. And then right around the face here, paint away. Paint up, paint away. I'm gonna use the tail of my comb, put my hair back down. It's important to let oxygen breathe. See that? I'm not smashing the color down. I'm letting it lift and letting it breathe. Now I'm going to go to my next section. Painting away from my face. Diagonal section and away. And you guys, this is just to get you through until we see you again, right? So if you're not comfortable doing as much hair that I'm doing, that's fine. Just get around your part line and around your hairline. The formulations that we've mixed up for you are just there to blend your natural color. It's not there to completely change it. So really, we're just getting you through until we'll see you again. And it may sound silly, you know, coloring your hair while you're in self-quarantine, but it does a lot for the self-esteem. And we need to work on ourselves and help, you know, build ourselves up so we don't get depressed. I think this time especially is so important for self-care, self-soothing, um, nurturing, just really appreciate this quiet time and taking care of yourself. So the different colors are going to process at different times and not everybody's going to be the same. So whenever we say that these are customized, they're very customized to the point that you're going to have a different processing time just depending on your hair color formulation. So whenever you pick those up from us, we will have a handwritten note especially for you saying how long to leave the hair color on. So I hope this was helpful. I'm obviously there for you. Email, Instagram, Facebook, um, and we hope to see you soon.